businesses that will not be included in Marion County's phase two reopening, non-essential manufacturing and salons and barber shops. Our team coverage continues tonight with RTV6's Cameron Riddle checking in on a West Side barber who hasn't seen a customer in months. It's been a frustrating day for Indianapolis barber Brian Lomax. He's among the Marion County barbers and beauticians who thought they would be able to reopen their doors to customers this Friday. But after an announcement by Indianapolis Mayor Joe Hogg said that day won't come until June at the earliest. I was totally shocked because of the inconsistency. We were first told April the 20th. Then we were told May 1st. Then we were told May 11th. Then we were told May 15th, and then today when we got the news that we couldn't open until June 1st, it was a total shock. It was a, a, a huge disappointment. Lomax's Westside Barbershop hasn't seen a customer since the first stay-at-home orders were issued in March. He says during the downtime, he's been ordering personal protection supplies and more disinfectants for the reopening he planned for this week. Some of us spend money to make sure that we were prepared for this, and then now we have to wait another two weeks, and so uh, that's, that's kind of a burden on our pockets. Lomax is not only the shop's master barber, he's a small business owner who's been paying for a shop he can't use. The federal government has rejected his small business loan request, and Indiana's unemployment program has yet to tell him if any benefits will come his way. Lomax says it's a common situation for gig workers who he believes are very essential. We are essential workers. Uh, you got certain people that work jobs that require that they look a certain way. Some restaurants uh, don't allow men to wear facial hair. So uh, we're definitely important. Lomax says customers should feel safe in the barbershop when the doors eventually reopen. Thanks to a number of sprays and disinfectants barbers are already required to use. He says keeping his clients safe and healthy is part of his duty as a licensed barber and is disappointed city leaders aren't trusting him to do just that. This is my only job. This is what I do. This is what I love to do. That's what makes it even more frustrating. To be told not to go to work is one thing, but to be told not to do what it is that you're passionate about makes it even more uh, frustrating. On the West Side, Cameron Riddle, RTV6. Well, Lomax says he is still considering applying for a rapid response loan offered at the local level. Today, Mayor Hawks had also announced a program that will reimburse businesses for money spent on personal protective equipment up to $5,000.